Hello and welcome to Inside IT from the technology experts at Intel's own IT department. In this podcast, we look at engineering business intelligence with the cloud. The evolution of the cloud has had a profound impact on business. Cloud capabilities have opened up new opportunities and have created new possibilities in the area of business intelligence. But this rapid evolution presents challenges to keep up with the latest technology and to continue to meet user expectations. To meet those challenges, Intel formed the Cloud BI Evaluation Team. It's an ad hoc group of volunteers from various organizations within Intel with a singular mandate. Yatish Goel heads up the team. This team wants to come out with the single prescriptive guidance, and that should include the architecture, how-to, and the approaches for this Cloud BI products and tools which are available in this space. Goel says Intel was ready to invest in more business intelligence tools, but there was a need for more integration, more direction, more processes and procedures. When we are talking about the cloud in business intelligence area, so obviously means a lot of vendors, a lot of products, uh, they are shifting their strategy, which usually used to be on-premises when we go back just a couple of years back moving into the cloud space. Goel says historically, new BI features would get introduced on-premises first. Then vendors would gradually add these capabilities to their cloud offering. But wider availability and reduced cost of the cloud have reversed that trend. And some of the vendors, they already started implementing the things in the cloud space first to try out or give opportunity to their consumers to try those new capabilities, features, and functionalities. And once they get a good review from the consumers, then they start retrofitting those functionalities and features into their main products or on-premises products. Evaluating the market for vendors and products that are appropriate for Intel's business intelligence landscape is a pretty big undertaking. Every day, one or two new products or vendors are jumping into the market with their products, and each has its own plus points, which brings something new to the table. So how you make that determination, whether it is going to be a good fit for you or not. Guel says the first order of business, once the evaluation team was formed, was to develop a framework for the process, in this case, a multi-step product evaluation. The first step is a paper study of a product. So we start to gather as much information about that product as possible, whether it's uh, available on the internet or whether we are speaking to the vendor or looking at their website and talking to their sales representative to find out, okay, what this product has strong offerings and how it can benefit any business intelligence environment. Then the team starts a comparison with similar products on premises. Well, I won't say it's apple to apple comparison because in a lot of sense products are different the way they operate on-premises platform versus in the cloud area. But again, we try to look into the functionalities and try to map those functionalities that is going to be used heavily within Intel's business intelligence environment. The product is then mapped against a likely cloud BI scenario to see how it would be used. Goel says a product lifecycle generally follows a path through those different cloud BI scenarios. At first, they start where local and cloud environments are segregated. The product can exist independently in the cloud space without uh, merging any data or getting any data from the on-premises or from the enterprise world. But as the amount of data, latency times, and cost all increase, it starts to make more sense to move to an integrated scenario. That's when data is merged or shared. Goel says there are two types of integrated environments, virtual integration. So in the virtual integration, you don't move the data from one environment to other environment, and in this particular case, from cloud to on-premises or on-premises to cloud. And then there's physical integration. Where either the data moves from on-premises into these cloud software as a service application, or vice versa, to make this integration happen. In fact, the team has outlined 10 distinct scenarios. Starting from a complete on-premise solution, going all the way into a complete cloud-based solution, and everything in between. Once a product is mapped to one of these cloud scenarios, Goel says a decision can be made about its potential value. In this team's thought process, this may be useful for Intel or it may not be useful for Intel. And based on those understandings, then we recommend whether we should be doing a proof of concept or evaluation or hands-on evaluations of this product. The next step is to make recommendations. We try to merge our findings 
with our existing prescriptive guidance architectures and how to documents and try to make it like a single guidance for our decision makers so that they can decide okay if a business use case comes their way whether implementing a product or using a product on premises is going to be more beneficial goel says the work of intel's cloud bi evaluation team minimizes duplication of effort across business units exploring bi solutions so they don't need to go and start doing those product studies again they can definitely leverage the product studies we have done and start building on top of that if that makes sense for that particular organization. So I think this is more like a foundational work for the business intelligence, specifically in, in the cloud area. And I'm sure that it is going to save a lot of effort and this kind of a struggle for other business groups who may be interested in these products. Goel is quick to dispel concerns about the security of moving business intelligence to a more mature cloud infrastructure. In some cases, what we are finding is the security in cloud areas is even better than a lot of uh, on-premises securities available for some small business groups. But Goel says data governance is more important than ever when implementing more cloud solutions. You cannot go with your data storage infinite. You need to come up with some strategies. Okay, I just want to keep my data for three years or five years and then start purging those volumes out which are not needed because otherwise you end up paying for those unnecessary usage you are inaccurate on the cloud space. Yatish Goel says ultimately the work of Intel's cloud business intelligence evaluation team is critical to the business moving forward. I think that's very unique and uh, foundational work which is going to help pretty much every business group who is going to look into the cloud situation. That does it for this edition of Inside IT. For more information on engineering BI with the cloud at Intel or anything IT related, go to www.intel.com slash IT. While you're there, you can sign up for the Intel IT Center for regular updates on IT topics, third-party research, IT-focused events, and more. For Inside IT, I'm Paul Lancor. <laughs>